Missing dog mystery leaves a Bay Area family confused and looking for some answers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. A few months ago, a Bradenton Pomeranian went missing from its home, but five months later, she suddenly appeared hundreds of miles away. News Channel 8's John Rogers joins us now live from Manatee County to tell us about her journey. John? Good evening, Jen. The owners could have never imagined that this dog would end up so far away from home, but they're sharing this story to help encourage and inspire other pet owners. Come here, Sassy. Barbara Dawson adores her six-year-old Pomeranian, Sassy. She's like one of my babies. In this simple moment, playing with her baby is a dream come true because in January, Sassy vanished. Well, I let her outside to go potty, and we have a big fenced-in yard, and somebody stole her. For months, Dawson put up posters and searched everywhere, all to no avail. Why do you think someone would steal Sassy? They know she's worth a lot of money. Five months later, it she was... and her husband were out clothes oh, shopping well. when they got I a tried. phone call. Sassy was found by a police officer. I was overjoyed. I started crying. Like I said, I tried to run out of the store with my clothes in my hands without paying for them. But the officer worked for the Pembroke Pines Police Department, meaning Sassy traveled more than 200 miles. I can't believe she was that far. I mean, I had to ask the cop twice. The officer spotted the friendly dog while out on patrol. She was healthy and obviously not a stray. So he took her in and found she had a microchip. She just ran up to him, wagging her tail, and saying, pick me up, pick me up. Dawson sent her grandkids to pick her up. She never lost hope that her dog would be found. She may never know how Sassy ended up on the opposite coast, but she doesn't care. Sassy is home. They're like a child. You're found determined to find them one way or another. Pretty cool, ain't it? Well, Pembroke Pines police don't exactly know how the dog ended up over there, but they do believe that once it did end up there, someone cared for it and failed to find the owner. In any case, the Dawsons urge all pet owners to microchip their pets, and if their dog goes missing, they encourage you just to don't lose hope because the dog could come home. Back I you, mean, Jen. that microchip made all the difference. Good advice. John Rogers, live in Manatee County for us tonight. John, thank you.